Reporting live, we have YSPN Zone, Kim Wood. Hi, sports fans. This is Kim Wood, your sports reporter for YSPN. And we're after the big game, but we're going to have a minute with your coach, Michael the Bear Bennett. Coach, do you have a moment to talk with us and the fans? Absolutely, Kimberly Ann. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing that was a wonderful big thing. game. Loved it. Great. Yeah, that was fantastic. So what are some big highlights for this team? Because it's definitely grown over the years. Absolutely. I'm very proud of this team because, you know, we have such a good supporting team. We have wonderful staff. There, there are people that are involved with our winning season that you don't see on the field every day. We have uh, people who take care of the, the, the equipment for us, the facilities. We have trainers, we have all sorts of staff that are behind the scenes. It's more than just the players on the field, so I'm very proud of everybody. That's fantastic, Coach. What are some specific highlights that you're very proud of this year? Well, there's just so many, but the, a few that I can think of. It's just so neat to be around this YMCA and this in the field during the um, during the summer. We have over 200 and some children in our camps each week here. Um, then we have another 80 kids at our uh, Pocosin site, then we send at least uh, 90 to 100 of our teams to Fort Monroe. Um, close to 2,500 uh, children are swim lessons each uh, this year. Um, Learn the swim program for the second graders. It's a free program and we provided, um, I think it was 99 children this year in our Learn the Swim program. Uh, wellness is just booming. Uh, people come in, they, they participate, they build small uh, groups. Um, our staff get to know them very well, find out what the needs are, they take good care of them. And then our facility staff, they keep the place clean when we have between 1,100 to 2,300 people come through our doors a day. The people coming at three sometimes don't even know how many people came in before that. So um, we have a terrific support, uh, just can't be any proud. I mean, when you have our children that come through our child watch and youth watch, and the parents just feel so comfortable uh, knowing that their children are being taken care of. Absolutely, Coach. Now, how about next season? What do you look forward to? Where is this team going? Uh, um, Kimberly Ann, I'm just so proud of this of this team. I mean, it's just it's just opportunities are just endless. We, um, you know, I think the one thing is when we get our team together, we just want to say we want to go outside of our walls. We're looking forward to building collaborations to enhance our present programs and develop new programs. We want to build a relationship with churches, doctors, hospitals, um, because we have a diabetes program that we're developing, uh, working with the National YMCA, and we want to get people wrapped around it because there's such a need. We have, um, we're looking forward to increasing our Learn to Swim to over 135 children this year. We look at our teen programs to grow. I mean, when we've grown from seven to 63 teen leaders, what are they going to do next? Wow, it's uh, amazing. It's amazing, and all the needs in our community with our youth and our teens, we can play a major part, but it's really going out and working with other people on how do we enhance our community and make this community of York County, Pocosa, Newport News, and Hampton a better place to live. Well said, Coach. Thank you very much.